This study is an interdisciplinary study that uh, involves agricultural economists and our collaborators in agricultural and biological engineering. And uh, what we've done is try to integrate a uh, watershed modeling framework together with a, a model that simulates the um, release of greenhouse gases or the sequestration of carbon from soil. soil. And what we're looking at particularly is the collection of corn stover, the crop residue that's left after we harvest uh, grain, corn grain from agricultural land. And our primary interest is in looking at uh, the air quality effects, that is in terms of greenhouse gas emissions, water quality impacts that may be associated with different types of stover removal cropping systems, and then the economic costs that are associated with that. So. Um, using different rotations, corn and soybean rotations, uh, removing stover at two different rates, 38% and 52% removal rates, and then also considering uh, no-till systems versus conventional tillage in combination with those uh, crop rotations and different removal rates. And uh, what, we, what we find are that within a given crop rotation and tillage system, as we increase the rate of stover removal, we go from no stover removal to um, an intermediate rate and the higher rate that we considered, what we see are an increase in the loss of sediment from crop fields, so the contribution of sediment loading to waterways, an increase in the flux of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, that's the combination of um, the change in soil organic carbon, the amount of uh, carbon sequestered in soil, as well as um, nitrous oxide flux to the atmosphere, so loss from uh, nitrogen in that cropping system. The other thing that we see is actually a reduction in nitrate, so at higher rates of removal there's lower um, contributions of nitrate to waterways, as well as a reduction in the amount of total phosphorus delivered to waterways. Uh, that nitrate that, uh, that reduces actually is exported from the system in some way or another, so it's removed with stover. Um, so the, the sort of takeaway points in terms of looking at the environmental or economic trade-offs that come from uh, removal of stover from these systems are such that um, we can use no-till if we want to, to try to reduce the amount of sediment loss. That seems to be pretty effective, but additional practices are going to be necessary if we want to try to reduce greenhouse gas loss from the system, potentially the use of cover crops or other, uh, other practices, and we also need to determine exactly what the correct nitrogen replacement rate is in order to try to uh, reduce nitrogen loss from the system, whether to the atmosphere or to waterways.